Did you ever wonder how fish can breathe underwater? I'll tell you how they do it right after the show. It was a beautiful, bright, sunny morning at Camp Candy. <clears throat> I said it was a bright, sunny morning. <laughs> Ah, uh, two of the same. Huh? Go on, get out of here. It's done. Whoops. Sorry. Overslept. Yeah. Like I was saying, it was a lovely sunny morning at Camp Candy. The morning of a mighty important day. I got up early to start preparing for the quick scent to uh, the quip scent to the quincentum <laughs> the mission of the 500th anniversary of Lake Cacciatore. We planned a big event in honor of the historic day. Camp Candy was going to open its doors to dignitaries from all over to celebrate the great explorer, Christopher Cacciatore. And I had to look my best, because I was the producer. And if nothing else, producers always look good. <laughs> the campers decided to make floats representing important moments in Christopher Cacciatore's life. The floats had to be covered with natural decorations found around Lake Cacciatore. This has got to look just like Christopher Cacciatore's boat. Hey, Iggy, I got some newspapers for the sales. Nope, not natural. Hey, we can use cans for the ship's guns. No, we can't. Everything has to be natural. Oh, I thought everything was supposed to be recyclable. Theodore, what about the seeds you were supposed to bring? Oh, yeah, the seeds. Uh, I forgot where I put them. I hope I don't ruin my nail polish doing this. After all, I should be the queen of the festival, not the float builder. Hey, cut that out. Why is your float so top secret? You'll see. The floats are supposed to represent something about Christopher Cacciatore Day. Don't worry, my float represents the most important part of Christopher Cacciatore Day. We were expecting a good crowd, plus big shots from the Christopher Cacciatore Historical Society. Being the producer, I had to make sure everything was perfect. So I helped the workers build the viewing stand. Oops, <laughs> wrong color. Better fix that. lucky enough to have the legendary nightclub comedian Bobby Bittman accept our invitation to be the master of ceremonies for our pageant. John, wait! Are you gonna pick up Bobby Bittman? Yes, I am. Well, hurry back. I can't wait to show Bobby my float. I still couldn't believe it. I was actually gonna meet funny man Bobby Bittman. A famous celebrity like him was gonna make this whole pageant first class. And that jokester is me! Yeah! Thank you! Thank you very much. Thank you for that applause, ladies and gentlemen. You know, it means a lot to me. Applause and the uh, cheering, your acclamation, it all means the same. It means love. And I feel a lot of love in this room. <laughs> hey, what do you say we get to know each other, huh? Hello, I'm Bobby. How are you? <laughs> hey, what's your name? I'm Phil. Where are you from, Phil? Here. Here? You mean you live at this table? <laughs> live here at the table. There's no plumbing. <laughs> yeah, Bobby Bittman. I bet he knows everybody in show business. Ah, enough daydreaming. I can't be late. I'm the producer. Bittman? Uh, Mr. Bittman? Bobby Bittman? M M Mr. Bobby? Uh, over here, sir. 
Hey, there's my limo driver. As the chef said to the hot potato, can I drop you someplace? <laughs> Hello, Bobby. I, I, I'm John Candy. How are you? <laughs> How are you? Oh, 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 that always cracks me up. Is that a fact? Yeah. Get my luggage. Right. You sure brought a lot of stuff. Where's the limo? Right over there. The big camp bus. Bus? I don't do buses. Boy, I tell you, everybody's thrilled you're gonna be master of ceremonies, Bobby. Oh, nonsense. It's my pleasure. Anytime I can do my part to celebrate something as important as history I'm there. So tell me about this Christopher Cannoli. Uh, that's Cacciatore. Christopher Cacciatore. He, he was uh, an explorer, very famous in this part of the country. <laughs> you see, Bobby, Christopher Cacciatore was a noble explorer in the court of King Fernando and Queen Isadora. You've heard of them? You see, the, the Queen commissioned Cacciatore to sail to the New World in search of resort property. Ouch! Oh, 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 oh. He set sail on three ships the Vinny, the Vici, and the Santa Fe, on his journey to the New World. It was a relatively pleasant passage over calm seas. Cacciatore had assembled an experienced and courageous crew. Half a man The men finally arrived in the New World. I'm a safe. I'm a safe. Captain Cacciatore's loyal men would do anything for their leader. Monkey, I bought a little help with the supplies. <laughs> Somehow, Cacciatore became separated from the rest of the expedition. <laughs> Excuse me. Hey, where is everybody? Help! 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 Today, that well-thought-out route of his exploration has become known as the Cacciatore Trail. <laughs> and the Cacciatore Trail ends right at Lake Cacciatore. At least that's the way history tells it. Oh, interesting story. I'll have to remember that the next time I'm having problems sleeping. I'd like to be taken to my hotel suite first. Um, uh, you're staying at Camp Candy. <laughs> Where's my dressing room? You get your own whole cabin. <laughs> yeah, but you see, I'm not an outdoorsy type. My uh, sequins might rust. Uh, excuse me, Bobby. Yeah. Who's the munchkin? Yeah, Rick, uh, Bobby just got here. Let him unpack. But I want to show him my float. We had to show something important about the celebration. I made this because you're here. I feel a lot of love in this room. While everyone at Camp Candy was preparing for the Christopher Cacciatore celebration, Rex DeForest III was making plans of his own. Look at those fools preparing for their historic celebration. What they don't know is they will be celebrating one of the world's richest men. Oh, well, Christopher Cacciatore was rich? <laughs> Many people don't know this, but he buried his treasure in Lake Cacciatore. And I have the treasure map right here. What happened to all the chairs? Oh, I'm using them to change the light bulb, boss. Why don't you use the stepladder? 
Oh, no. I want to be safe. Most household accidents occur from falling off ladders. I have a riddle. How many imbeciles does it take to change a light bulb? Uh, I don't know how many. One. You. Oh, you idiot! Get off of me! The Christopher Cacciatore Day celebration will be the perfect diversion to allow me to retrieve the treasure. Yes, Christopher Cacciatore Day will be quite a celebration, because on that day, Camp Candy and the treasure will be mine! All mine! <laughs> It was another beautiful day at Camp Candy. Perfect weather for Christopher Cacciatore Day. The bleachers were filling up quickly. Bobby Bittman was a big draw. The campers made sure that everyone who had a ticket got a seat. The dignitaries from the Christopher Cacciatore Historical Society got front row seats. Here we are. Enjoy the show. It's a full house. Oh, that's enough to make any producer happy. Uh, are you ready, Bobby? In a minute. Before I go on, I'd like to seriously reflect for a moment that comedy is a serious business, in all seriousness. Huh? Okay, let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, we here at Camp Candy are pleased to present the master of ceremonies for the late Cacciatore pageant, that humanitarian, philanthropist, comedian, uh, uh, Bobby, 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 I can't read your handwriting. Entertainer extraordinaire is fine. Just bring me up. Ladies and gentlemen, that entertainer sleeping bag and a patch of four-leaf clovers and poison ivy.
Chester, come in. Do you read me? Oh, yeah, boss. Loud and clear. Just keep feeding me the air hose. Uh, hey, boss, if I do a good job today, uh, can I get a raise? A raise? What am I paying you now? Uh, nothing. Well, then I'll double it. You just have to know how to ask. When I find the treasure, I'll buy this entire camp and live like the king I'll be rich enough to be. Then I'll be rid of Candy and his obnoxious kids forever. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we have a real treat. Nurse Molly is going to show us some trick water skiing. Ready? Oh, oh boy, that looks like fun. Okay, uh, now one leg. Uh, I guess that's going to take some practice. Isn't Nurse Molly wonderful, folks? It's Bob Schmoltz! What a surprise! <laughs> yeah, I heard you're hosting this pageant, Bitman, so I thought I'd stop by and say hi. Bob Schmoltz? Oh, I gotta see this. Whoa! Best seat in the house. <laughs> I'll tell you, it's great to be here at Lake Cacciatore, where 500 years ago, Christopher Cacciatore decided this would be a great place to build Camp Candy. How about that, huh? Tell me, how's the fishing here, Bobby? I don't do much fishing. Yeah, I tried ice fishing last winter. Trouble is, the darn stuff melts so fast in the drying pan. We're about to have the parade of floats. Would uh, you like to be a judge, Mr. Schmoke? All I know about making floats is you need root beer and ice cream. Rick, I think you cheated by making a float that looks like Bobby Bittman. <laughs> Why? He's part of the celebration. He's also the judge. I should be getting close to the treasure. Oh, there it is. I'm rich. Uh, Chester, there's too much air, you idiot. <laughs> Turn it off. I should have expected this. These are all great. Now, which one you'd choose, Pippa? Whoa! Seems that we have a uh, late entry. What is that, a balloon? Let's have a big hand for the only balloon entry! The creature from the lake! Uh, how come the boss is floating up in the sky when he's supposed to be walking underwater? I'd better save the boss if I want that raise. No one had any idea that Rex DeForest was going to take such an interest in the celebration. His balloon was a real crowd pleaser. <laughs> and later, he made a big splash in the water ballet. Everyone had a fun day. Nurse Molly was a terrific skier. I got a chance to clown around on the high dive. No, 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 not like that. You gotta mean it. It's gotta come from the heart. Oh, are ya? <laughs> Rick was thrilled to be able to call his idol, Bobby Bittman, a friend. And Rex got the trophy for the best balloon, <laughs> whether he liked it or not. Bob Schmope had a great time with us that day. Boy, is he ever a busy guy. I better get going. This was fun. Watch for my next special on the great outdoors. You gotta see Lola Heatherton try and clean a fish. Bye-bye. While all this fun was going on, the biggest spoil sport of all time was still determined to find Christopher Cacciatore's treasure. Hey, boss. I think the diving suit still has some leaks. Hurry up and find the treasure, you ninja folk! Uh, what letter am I looking for again? X marks the spot. Uh, let's see. A, B, C, D, Q, X. I found it. You found Christopher Cacciatore's treasure. <laughs> Bring it up. Hey. Ah. Uh, 
Hey, 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 wait one moment. That treasure chest belongs to history. Can't I at least get a reward? My reward is one year's free admission to the Christopher Cacciatore Museum. <laughs> It was a beautiful day. <laughs> Thank you. Nighty night. Good night. That night we had a terrific fireworks finale over Lake Cacciatore. It's a good thing these celebrations happen once every 500 years. <laughs> I was one poop producer. Fish don't hold their breath underwater. They don't have to. Fish breathe just like we do. See, it all has to do with water. Water has oxygen in it, just like air does. Fish have special lungs called gills that they use to get the oxygen from the water the same way we get oxygen from the air. If you take a fish out of water, he has the same problem we do in the water. He has to hold his breath. Now, there are some fish that do hold their breath underwater, but they're not really fish. Dolphins and whales are mammals and have lungs. Even though they live in the water, they hold their breath underwater. They take deep breaths through their blowhole and then dive underwater. Well, that's it for today. I'll see you later.